When we think of smart farms, one important component that often gets overlooked is genetic breeding. Just like us, plants can get sick, but the effects can be devastating, sometimes even destroying an entire orchard. So what if apple crops could be bred that are less susceptible to disease while developing more desirable consumer traits? Scientists at Cornell University are working with local farmers to explore that very question using a technique called artificial selection. Similar to a bee, farmers can cross-pollinate apple blossoms using a combination of traditional breeding and modern molecular techniques to produce unique hybrids that are making the apple industry more sustainable. New rootstocks can also be customized to match soil conditions and landscapes creating new tree forms, enhanced fruit quality, such as better taste and reduced browning, and genetic resistance to diseases like fire blight, mildew, and scabs. Every year, Cornell plants upwards of 10,000 seeds that are harvested from cross-pollinations. And since the late 1890s, they have released over 60 apple varieties. Many you may already know, such as the Cortland, McCoon, Empire, and Jonah Gold. But newer varieties include the Snapdragon, with its consistent quality, firmness, and sugar levels, and the Ruby Frost, which has a good source of vitamin C and excellent storage and shelf life. Reliable crops, better efficiency, and cost savings are just a few of the benefits for both farmers and consumers, making the study of genetics and genomics a valuable addition to smart farms and helping to change the way we see agriculture as we're discovering farmland.